some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have the continuation of a loudmouth cop hater who refused to let the police into his house to check on his mother, in which a neighbor heard screams coming from the house and called the cops to investigate. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Rolo, come here! This intrusion is so fucking unnecessary. You have no idea how hard it is to take care of old people. I'm sure it's extremely difficult. It is difficult taking care of elderly people. I've had to do it myself. I did it for five years. But that's no reason for you to act like this, especially towards somebody who's trying to help you. I just have a responsibility to make sure everybody's okay, and that's why I'm here. You don't have the responsibility. A medical person has a responsibility. I have to make sure that there's nothing criminal occurring within your home. Good luck. Okay. You're not coming in my house. Okay. Well, back whenever I was a first responder, a uh, police officer would always follow the paramedic in just in case there was an issue. He won't hurt him. I, know. I wouldn't mind if you stayed and witnessed this either. I'm a caretaker. My mom is 87 years old and she's deaf. And I have to yell at her when she's in the shower to get her to hear my instructions. So the neighbors called the police on me because they think I'm screaming and damaging my mom. And they won't take my word for it. I open the door. They ask my mom if she's fine. She said, yes, I'm freezing because I'm naked on the toilet. Yet they won't take her word for it either. You know, your general attitude and the way you present yourself seems to be your biggest problem. Is it any wonder why the, the cops were called on you? Because you seem to be a rather unapproachable person to begin with. Just stick around and you'll see what I mean when the paramedics finally arrives and the way he talks to them would lead you to conclusion as well. And I'm not about to let a cop in my house to see my naked mother. Do you understand what's going on here now? Have I explained myself? Oh, okay, okay. Sir, I, I don't mean to step in. Uh, You're not going to step in, and I'm not going to take any instructions. Okay, so I'm just here to observe, but I want to let you know my name's Officer Amel, okay? I would please ask you that the yelling at this point is not necessary. I understand. The yelling is necessary. I'm making sure I have witnesses. And that's totally fine. It's just like and it is totally before. fine. And please don't give me instructions to not lo to not yell. Okay, sir. And like I said, this is recording. And this is recording yes. right here, and I have it. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to explain to you that... I'm waiting for the neighbors to come out and tell me who, who turned me in. Sir. For talking too loud. No, I am not creating trying, a disturbance. I am in my own property talking. That we received a phone call about yelling, okay? When we You when have we the yelling. I'm still yelling. I understand that. And when I'm not going to stop. Arrived, when we arrived, I, we could hear you yelling directly at your mother. Right. To do what? And to sit down. We, we didn't hear that. We exactly. And I've explained it to you. And I should have alleviated your concerns. When you talk to my mother. I understand that. But, unfortunately, we need to be able to see your mother. But, unfortunately, sure you're you not going to. The police are not going to because they do things that are not right. A medical person can do something that's right. Oh, so, oh, when you go to check on a person for safety, bring a goddamn medical person. Because you guys shoot people. Sir, all we're going to do... You're not going to do anything. If you step through me, injury. you are... Hurting me. Okay. You need to well, the picture of him has become much more clear. Being prejudgmental on every cop that comes by based on the actions of the minority. I wonder who he's been watching to give him this idea that cops only do bad things. That cops 
only shoot people, that there are no good cops, that cops don't go around saving kidnap victims, that cops don't do anything good. But I don't care about that right now. Let's just skip the end and see how he treats the paramedics. Okay. Come on, Albert. Rollo! I only need one of you. Rollo, in the house. Oh, no wonder he's not coming. I'm calling him Oliver. Yeah. Go inside. All right. Folks, my mother is 87 years old. She's very hard of hearing. She's sitting on the toilet wet because she got out of the shower and had to poop. She's at the top of the stairs. They have been told by her that they that she is fine. You are going in as a medical professional to see if she's been damaged or is hurt. Okay? That is your job. You go talk to her and you come right back out, please. Well, looky there. It's not just the cops he was talking that nasty to. He was even talking nasty to the EMTs and telling them how to do their job. Kind of makes me wonder how he talks to his neighbors in that area. Maybe that's a good reason why they called the cops on him, because they thought he was abusing his mother. Again, that would suggest to me he has a complete disconnected relationship with any of his neighbors, so they don't understand what's going on in the house, because he doesn't communicate this to his neighbors very well. Then I will get her dressed. The two of you only. You have been given permission to enter the house. Top of the stairs and take a left. It's kind of hard to miss a naked 87 year old woman. Ask her any questions you want. Wait, I'm going to hear this too. I'm leaving the door open. You can step right. Well, that's the end of the video right there, folks. It ends abruptly just like the other part did. If he talks to neighbors the way he talked to the EMTs and cops, is it any wonder why the neighbors called the cops to make sure that his mother was okay? I would probably do the same thing.